Chinese flag there. It doesn't matter. Show me the Chinese flag. Why are you touching her? Stop touching her! Don't touch her, please. Do not touch her. Please, you are not the same age. Please do not touch her. Don't touch her. Please don't touch her. Please don't. Yeah, don't touch her. Don't touch her. So this is a situation that got a little bit heated at St Pancras uh, Station in London. And many of you will recognise that this is the channel of Dr K, Boogie Woogie on the Piano, and uh, many of you have emailed me about this, so thank you for that. Um, now, there's a couple of bits in here. First of all, it's talking about um, filming in public and whether there's any right to privacy in a public place. Uh, more importantly, the police later get involved, and it's interesting what they say, which I'll come back to in a moment. Um, but also... Um, one concern raised by uh, Brendan in his follow-up video, which I'll play for you now, and then I'll give you my thoughts on that as well. Listen to this. You need to, you need to look at this because this is kind of like serious. If you look at the video, the live stream from 13.32, 13 minutes, 32 seconds to 13.38 seconds, you can hear the girl shouting, don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot, don't shoot him. And that's the bit that I actually showed you at the outset of this. So I will skip back and try to play that again. Um, but my take on it is nothing to do with weaponry or um, any threat to life and things like that. My take on the don't shoot him comment um, coming from a, a Chinese person speaking English and uh, my wife is Chinese. So our take on this is that they meant don't shoot him as in don't film him. Like you would shoot a film, shoot a movie. Uh, our take is that she's saying don't shoot him in that sense. You may disagree with me. Um, and uh, Brendan says he's had various emails um, telling him certain things which may suggest otherwise, but I don't think that's really the case. Um, but nonetheless, let's have another look at that. But um, I did blur out this video uh, just not to exacerbate the situation any further, but uh, take a listen and see what you think. Flag it there. doesn't matter. Why you're touching her? Stop touching her! Don't touch her, please. Do not touch her, please. You are not the same age. Please do not touch her. Don't touch her. Please don't touch her. Please don't. Yeah, don't touch her. Don't touch her. So it's definitely don't shoot him, but I don't take that to mean anything to do with a weapon. That's just my take on it and my wife's take on it for for what it's worth, um, and we can understand that some people might not want to be filmed in public and they might not want it to go online, etc. But uh, Brendan is absolutely right in this video in that there is no automatic right to privacy in a public place and that they can film and they can put it on YouTube. Um, if you're running that as a business and you're making money out of it, then you ought to be registered with the, uh, the ICO uh, for data protection purposes if you're running it for uh, the purpose of trade. Uh, but aside from that, there's nothing against the law about filming in a public place, putting it on YouTube. It might be different if you were following some around, someone around, causing them alarm and a dis distress, and then you did that on multiple occasions, that can become stalking and harassment and so on. Um, but as we've talked about in recent videos, filming somebody um, either deliberately on a single incident um, or even uh, incidentally on a single incident or they're caught incidentally, um, none of that is uh, breaking the law at all here. Um, but it's in interesting what the police had to say. So we'll come to that now. Let's move over to what the police said, because the police came over uh, to talk to Brendan in this situation. Let's have a listen to that conversation. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come and talk to me. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you, Kerry. I'll talk to you, Kerry, at the piano. Yeah, but you can't just come and talk to you. I'll talk so important to say here, just first of all, that um, both the group of Chinese were... Aside from the shouting, they were being polite and saying that, you know, they liked the music, they were sorry about it, they just didn't want it on YouTube. But um, aside from the shouting, the, the shouting was a little bit out of control, but um, everyone else here, the police um, generally were quite polite. So um, it did get a little bit heated, but let's see what the police had to say here. No, this is not to go on your channel, my well, this is me talking to you. Well, listen, Kerry, Kerry, listen, Kerry, listen, we're in a public space. Listen, we've just had a conversation sure. here with this dude in my face. It's, please. Kerry, you're recording me. Listen, we're, we're recording listen this, is, this is going on your YouTube channel. It, but I need to speak to you without this being on your YouTube channel. Well, what now, first of all, it's, it's understandable that the police don't like to be filmed. A lot of people don't like to be filmed. Um, it 
even when you're producing YouTube videos, it takes some getting used to to be filmed and things like that. But out in a public space, most people would prefer not to be filmed. But if you're in a public facing role, such as a police officer, um, you might end up getting filmed for what you're doing. So there's nothing she can really do or say to prevent that uh, and unless in very rare situations that it was something to do with the protection of evidence or uh, prevention of further crime and things like that. But I don't think any of that is relevant here. But uh, so there's nothing she can really say to prevent this going on YouTube. But let's see what else um, develops from this. About what? Is the problem in a public space? Listen, can I just have a conversation sure. with you, please? Without your friend video? No, because, for, because the camera never lies. Yeah. Listen, I've got my camera on. Okay, so I've got my camera it's also interesting here that she only now says that she has her camera on, the body-worn video camera. Um, ideally, she should have mentioned that right at the beginning. At the earliest opportunity, police should say that I am recording with the uh, body-worn camera. But she does so in response to Brendan saying that the camera never lies and that's why he's got the camera to film what's going on. Um, so ideally, she should have mentioned that beforehand, but at least she's done so now. But all the more reason uh, why... Um, this could be filmed. Let's have a conversation then. This is going on your YouTube channel and I don't want it to go on your YouTube channel. Well, don't channel. talk to me then, Kerry. Listen, listen. She's at K Kerry, we're in Britain. Right. We're in a public space. Got... I'm curious as to why she's so eager to stop the filming. As in, what was she going to say that she didn't want to be recorded that's going on YouTube? Other than just not liking the fact that she was being filmed. I don't get that. Free country. The first of the matter is, is I'm not making communist comments at the No, I said, you're waving a communist flag. That's all I said. And the hands were meant to be going towards her? Were you trying to touch her in that I regard? was not trying to touch her. That's why. So here's the real discussion, the discussion about, um, you know, whether there was any uh, comments made that were of a racist nature. I don't think they were, to, to, to be quite frank. Um, and then the allegation that he'd reached out to touch, which again, you can see it for yourself uh, in the earlier video um, or the full video on uh, Brendan's channel. I don't think there's anything wrong there either. But all of this really a discussion uh, that was uh, about a heated situation that didn't need to get so heated. Let's see what else there is. Okay, that's why I have a camera. They've requested that the video where they've approached gets deleted and not used on your channel. No, they because don't. Because there's money being made and they work for a company, then their faces can't be shown. Well, they should be. So they say they work for, or she's told them that she, they work for a company and that their faces can't be shown and if he's making money out of it on YouTube that they can't publish it with their faces on it. But that's not what the law says. Um, if you're in a public place, there is no automatic right to privacy. Um, there are certain situations the courts have held if you're, let's say you're trying to remain private in your own little area, someone's following you around, filming you and things like that, but it needs to cross a certain threshold that there'd be what we call a reasonable expectation of privacy. But if you're walking around a very public open space, uh, particularly, I didn't see it, but I think they came up to the piano at one stage and if they're being filmed or they come up to something which is obviously a, a public event of some sort where there's uh, people filming, there's no automatic right to privacy there. And so there's no compulsion upon anybody to delete the footage, uh, prevent it going online or supply a copy of it and things like that. Unless, as I say, there's a narrow exception. If you're operating as a business, you might want to register with the ICO. If you're operating as a business and you are filming and, and this is part of your business, then data protection laws will apply if it's not an entirely household activity. Uh, but this is not, to be clear, in breach of the Data Protection Act in that um, if it is capturing anyone's personal information, which can be their face and their voice and things like that, because they might be personally identifiable, then it's only so much as is necessary and proportionate in the circumstances. And so in this case, once it got to the point of a heated discussion as to whether or not uh, they should be filming at all and whether they're allowed to do that. Um, that is then that then becomes uh, recording it for their own purposes and protection uh, as a contemporaneous record of the conversation and so on. Um, and even to the extent that it might just be part of the overall entertainment of the channel. Whatever the purpose is, is perfectly fine. 
Um, there's no uh, strict laws to require that this is removed. But all that said, I can understand why people don't want to be uh, filmed, particularly if they might have a political affiliation and things like that. Um, and I can understand why the police might not want to be filmed, but such is life. Uh, you might well be filmed out in a public space, particularly if you're holding a public facing role such as a police officer. Um, so I don't think there is anything here that can go any further. And I, for what it's worth, I don't think the video will be taken down. I don't think YouTube will take this video down. I don't, I didn't see anything in there unless there is a person of, um, highly political sensitivity in their role. And then they might consider if they had a formal request to take it down, but I very much doubt that that will be the case either. Um, and working backwards to round off with one of the opening comments about um, whether there was a, a threat there, I think don't shoot him meant don't film him, as in don't shoot a film of him. That's what I think it really meant. I don't think there was anything more nefarious there. Um, you may disagree and I may, I may be wrong. Uh, that's just my take on it. That's um, what I think having watched it. And um, many of you have emailed me for my thoughts on that. Those are my thoughts. Um, leave me your thoughts, comments below. Do discuss it down there. Um, and if, um, not that I think it's necessary, but if Brendan happens to watch this and needs a copy of this um, live stream video, um, the original one that is, I do have a copy of that. Um, I will keep it for a limited amount of time and make it available to anybody that um, appears in it and has a legal request for it. Um, with that, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please do uh, tag Brendan somewhere. Um, to let him know that I've done this response to the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.